Our coverage of Highmark First Tonight continues in this week's Kidsburg. In case you missed yesterday's segment on kids' activities at First Night, Christine Swanson takes an in-depth look at some of the fun things for families this year. Some parents might be hesitant to bring children, especially young children, to a New Year's Eve celebration, but First Night is a great place to ring in 2018 with the whole family, and it's designed to get you home and the kids in bed long before midnight. Happy New Year! Downtown Pittsburgh is rocking on New Year's Eve. 14 blocks filled with more than 100 events, alcohol free. And just sort of like a nice way to finish out this year, to go into the next year sort of clean and fresh, and you feel good the next day. Get downtown early and get parked so you don't miss the kickoff. The early bird fireworks at 6 p.m. for those who won't make it till midnight. Best viewing spot right outside Fifth Avenue Place. Then warm up inside Fifth Avenue Place for kids' activities, including caricatures, clowns, and crafts. After that, make your way to the heated family tent next to the Benetton Center with hands on activities for kids, making light up pins and more. Then pick one of the many performances all around downtown. The Yen Lai Dance Academy is performing, showcasing traditional Chinese dancing. The Pittsburgh Ballet Theater students perform scenes from the Nutcracker at the August Wilson Center. The CLO mini stars sing and dance at the Cabaret at Theater Square. And the Balmoral Pipes and Drums and Scottish Dancers perform at the First Presbyterian Church. These are just some of the many shows throughout downtown. Then at 8 o'clock, head back outside for the parade down Liberty Avenue featuring giant puppets. It was amazing, it was amazing, it was amazing. First night manager Sarah Aziz's young children come every year. Then they come out and they watch the parade, which is like the biggest hit with all the kids, with the marching bands and the fire trucks and all the amazing puppets. And then they head home at like 8.30. <laughs> and for parents of teenagers who can stay up a little later, first night can be a great place for them to exert a little independence. The 14 block area is well lit, full of families and is alcohol free. I have some friends who have teenagers and they were like, you know, this is such a good event for teenagers because they feel so safe. For the details and times of all the events, just go to kidsburg.org. We have a link to the First Night website. You will need a button to get into the events. Buttons are $10 each and kids five and under are free, so it's very affordable. Happy New Year to you and have fun. With today's Kidsburg Report, I'm Christine Sorensen.